Today in Reashack, Morse code being used for phishing attacks? It's as weird as it sounds, but it's no joke. Coming up. Hey everybody, I am Ria. My call sign is N2RJ. I'm a ham radio operator, and on this channel, we talk about all things ham radio. We talk about news, views, how to's, and generally having a good time with the world's greatest hobby. But today, we're going to talk about something I do uh, kind of like somewhat professionally, but um, phishing attacks. So, I've been involved in computer security for a while, and um, I've seen it all. This article from Bleeping Computer talks about a new targeted phishing attack using Morse code, you know, that thing that you didn't want to do to get a ham radio license and now you don't have to do anyway because we removed it from the requirement to obtain an amateur radio license. Well, it's being used to hide malicious code as part of a phishing attack. So for those of you, maybe like the three people who don't know what a phishing attack is, an attacker typically will send you an email or some other communication. These days I've been getting a lot of them in text messages and Facebook messages and other social media messages. And then they would send you to a malicious website that looks like a legitimate website. Like they will send you to a bank, a website that looks like a bank website or a website that looks like uh, maybe some shopping site that you have an account on, PayPal or something, something deal with money. Because, you know, the end, the end goal of this is to extract the money from you. So they'll send you to this site. It'll look legitimate. It will prompt you to log in usually. So you give away your username and password. Or it will ask you for all sorts of details. Like your name, address, date of birth, security questions, and social security numbers and all sorts of stuff. I mean, once they start to hit that stuff, anybody with half a brain will know that it's totally bogus and it's a phishing attack so you shouldn't really go on and um, continue any further well people have gotten kind of how should i say you know wise to it and a lot of security software like email clients and websites and web browsers and such have gotten wise to phishing attacks and they have filters that filter out phishing so what's a hacker to do? Well, if you're a clever hacker, what you do is you find some way to obfuscate your malicious code. And in this case, the attackers have cleverly used Morse code. And Morse code basically, as you know, is the alphabet of characters and other symbols and such encoding uses using a series of short and long pulses. Like for example, um, you know, they'd come out as beeps on your speaker. So every ham radio operator should know what Morse code is. It's part of our legacy in history. So anyway, it says here, starting last week, a threat actor began utilizing Morse code to hide malicious URLs and phishing form to, de to bypass secure mail gateways and mail filters. So this seems rather unique because it's never been done before. And, um, you know, this, this actually came, if you look in the original Reddit article, which I'll post a link below, and um, it will show you that it has an HTML attachment sent to you via email, and it'll appear to be like an Excel invoice for a company. So, you know, it'll be named company name, invoice, whatever, xlsh.html. Uh, they have to make it look legit, because if it, you know, if they make it too easy, people smart or people kind of smart, you know, maybe we're not a little smarter than Homer Simpson smart, will figure it out. When you view the attachment in the text editor, you will see that they have a function, decode Morse code. Now, on my GitHub, by the way, I have a Python program that um, takes any sentence in Morse code from the command line and plays it on a Raspberry Pi. I'll, I'll put a link to it below as well. But they have a function, basically a piece of code that has a Morse alphabet. And then they have the, um, the actual payload, you know, the JavaScript code 
in Morse code. And then what happens is that the main part of the phishing, you know, document, uh, whatever, JavaScript, will then call this function decode Morse code and it'll pass in this malicious code in Morse code. I, it's funny if it weren't so seriously. I mean, I'm, I'm just floored and I'm beginning to wonder what's the call sign of the person that thought up this. I would, <laughs> uh, it's, it's crazy. But, um, you know, if you, if you've encountered anything like this, let me know. So anyway, um, it is unique and I, I really hope that it doesn't become commonplace because next thing you know, we'll be getting another email from the FCC saying Morse code, um, do not use Morse code for illegal purposes. And then we'll get one from the AWRL saying Morse code is only be used for good. You know, those emails were actually sent with good intentions, I must say. Um, especially the AWRL one was, wasn't really meant to offend anybody, but it is what it is. All right, everybody. Well, I hope this one made you smile a little bit. And um, who knows, if you have encountered the phishing attack in the wild, let me know. And um, I probably want to I probably want to get a sample of it to run through to to look at it to, and see what it is. But um, it it's um, it's rather unique. Well, if you found this interesting and I hope you did, but you can give me a like and subscribe and, you know, subscribing keeps you alerted to the latest videos. I try to post them often and um, subscribe and also help me grow the channel to get this in front of more people. You know, we're really gaining some momentum now. So uh, let's keep going. 73 everybody and keep on hamming. This is N2RJ Rea Shack. See ya.